Are your business emails ending up in the spam folder? It's a common issue, but there's a solution at hand, and it's called the Sender Policy Framework, or SPF for short. Implementing SPF for your domain can drastically improve your email deliverability. First off, what is SPF? It's a method of fighting spam emails and phishing attempts by verifying the sender's IP address. When you enable SPF for your domain, you're essentially giving permission for certain servers to send emails on your behalf. This way, the receiving server can confirm that the email is genuinely from you and not a spammer. So, how do you set up SPF for your domain? It's a straightforward process. You need to add a DNS TXT record at your domain provider. You can do this by signing in to your domain host's management console and locating the page where you can update DNS TXT records. If you're only sending emails from Google Workspace, you can use the SPF record V equal sign SPF1 include spf.google.com tilde all. This tells the receiving server that your emails are legitimate and should not be marked as spam. It's important to note that turning off SPF is not recommended. Doing so can lead to your domain being impersonated and your emails being marked as spam. What if you want to apply SPF to your subdomains? Well, it depends on your domain provider. Some allow adding SPF records directly to subdomains. If not, you can add another SPF record to your primary domain and change the host value to apply it to the subdomain. One crucial aspect to remember is that your domain should have only one SPF record, except when applying it to a subdomain with the host setting. After adding the SPF record, it may take up to 48 hours for authentication to start working. If you encounter issues, you can troubleshoot SPF problems. Remember to update your SPF record whenever you start using a new mail server or third-party sender. To summarize, enabling SPF for your domain involves adding a DNS TXT record at your domain provider. Using a specific SPF record if you're using Google Workspace, not turning off SPF, applying SPF to subdomains if necessary, having only one SPF record per domain and updating your SPF record when you change your mail server or third-party sender. Implementing SPF is a proactive step towards ensuring your business emails don't end up in the spam folder. It's a simple yet effective way to improve your email deliverability. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to enabling SPF for your domain. Remember, every email that reaches its intended recipient is a step closer to achieving your business goals.